up guys welcome back digital slang today we are talking another airpod pro clones these are the super nakis now these are a different company than nakis.com the pair of airpod pros that i reviewed already at first i thought they were the same company but they are different super nakis.com i'll drop the link below these are 89 bucks on their website but we'll get into them it's a one-to-one -one, box wise size wise weight wise it is all a one-to-one but we'll check them out. The Super Nakis, AirPod Pro clones, TWS, Bluetooth 5.0. Battery life on these things is going to be about four hours. They do support wireless charging. The H1 chip, we'll get that animation when we connect. It does say ANC for active noise cancellation, but we'll check that out and see if that's really true. The real battery percentages for the animation for the buds and for the case. You can use one at a time, in-ear detection, touch controls, and they do offer a 30-day refund guarantee. So some good things. We'll check them out. Let's unbox them. If we take a look at the box, on the front of the box, we do have the embossed image of the buds on the sides of the box no branding whatsoever we do have this orange dot i'm really not sure what that's about and on the back of the box we do have a picture of the clones and on the back of the original it's very close very similar picture the only difference is the shade of the white but very similar text airpod pros it doesn't say what they are over here but it does have the rest of the text so overall not bad boxing wise it's pretty close a one-to-one -one size wise now weight wise again these are a one-to-one -one in weight and in size so let's open these up we'll take our first look at the super nakis airpod pro clones so here is the user's manual if we open up the user's manual it will give us a little idea of what these things can do it talks about connection it talks about the touch controls it even tells you how to activate active noise cancellation so we will check that out and see if that really works. If that really works, then we're in for a treat here. Put this to the side. Here are the Super Nakis, the clones. If we check out what else is in the box. So no silicone tips in the box, but we do have the lightning connector to charge. And again, these do support wireless charging. Let's take our first look at the Super Nakis. Now, right off the bat, this does have the text on the bottom so it is a true one-to-one -one. and the hinge on the back looks more like the originals if we take a look at the originals and on the back again the originals on the right the super Nakis on the left the hinge is a little taller on the real airpod pros but other than that the text looks really close very similar the hinge color itself on the super Nakis is a little darker shade of that metallic but pretty cool that the text is on the back the Nakis that we tested out the other day did not have that, and these do feel very similar in weight. And again, it's an exact one-to-one -one weight-wise of the originals. So if we take a look, we open them up. There is your LED light on the bottom, your port to charge on the back, our button, our text, and our hinge. Let's take a look at the pros inside. You do have the writing as well inside of the lid of the case. So really cool. We are getting closer to a one-to-one. -one. And if we take these out, so our first look at the Super Nakis, if we compare them to the originals, they are going to be a one-to-one. -one. Now we'll check and see if these fit inside of the case. So they do fit inside of the real case. However, I don't expect them to be able to charge in the real case, but size-wise they are one-to-one, -one. they do fit in the case. And the originals, they also fit in the Super Nakis case. So pretty cool. We're getting closer and closer to a perfect one-to-one. -one. Now we'll put the real ones aside. And again, the bottoms of these are a little different. The real AirPod Pros, as you can see here, they have that little ring around the bottom edge and it's not fully chromed out like the clones are, but it is what it is. Very close, very similar. Let's connect them. We'll throw them back in the case. We're going to connect them, see if we get that same pop-up animation that we all know and love from Apple products. So if we open the case up, it pops right up. Connect, hold the button on the back. And I am running the latest version of iOS. The beta, it's like 13 point, I don't know, whatever it is. It's the newest version. So the pop-up windows 
are here. It is the same as the original, which is very cool. Talks about noise control, talks about all of the good things that the AirPod Pros have. And it's really cool that they take advantage of the H1 chip like this. These clones are getting more and more amazing as we get into it. And they're only going to get better. We're going to get closer to an exact one-to-one -one as time goes on, just like we have with the AirPod 2 clones. And again, real battery percentages on the case itself and on the pods. If we hit done, let's check if we can go in and remap anything, I doubt it. AirPod Pros, we are connected. You can't go in right now and rename or remap anything. Hopefully in time, that will happen. But let's throw them in. We'll check out the sound quality and we'll just start all of the testing. These do have a very snug fit. I can tell the difference in my voice as I speak. So active noise cancellation, I mean, that's what it's going to be. If we go into Control Center, and it says that we're connected here. If we long press, it does say AirPods Pro, but you don't get to choose between transparency mode and active noise cancellation. But the active noise cancellation on here is just from them being in your ear and changing the sound because of the seal in your ear. Let's play some music and we'll test out the sound quality and then we'll get into the mic test. We'll do all of the usual testing. <laughs> Sound quality in these are pretty good. They are better than the ones I tested last week. They sound close to the real things. Of course, the real ones have more bass. These have some bass, not a lot of bass, but you can tell the bass is there. And the highs on here, I think what stands out a little more than the rest, but overall, it is a good sound. It's not bad at all. I wouldn't have a problem listening to content or music on these on a day in and day out basis. They sound pretty good. Let's continue the testing. We'll try in-ear detection. We'll play some more music. We'll take one out and we'll go from there. Right side, pauses right away, back in. Left side, pauses right away, back in. Whenever I put them back in my ear, I can tell I activate the touch controls. You hear that little click and it's, it's the same sound that on the real AirPod Pros, when you grab, hold, and push to activate one of the touch controls, you hear that little click. It's actually very fulfilling on the real AirPod Pros, but you do have that same click sound in here when you're using the touch controls. It's a, it's a really cool sound. I like the sound and I'm glad that it is on these pair of clones, but they are very sensitive. So taking them in and out of your ear, you might activate the touch controls and that's exactly what I did. But in-ear detection does work. We're gonna keep going. We'll try the touch controls. So we'll try one tap on each bud. We'll play some more music. One tap. One tap pauses, one tap plays, and yes, you do get that, that same sound that you get on the real AirPod Pros. We'll try the left side. One tap pauses, one tap plays, and it works very good. I'm actually impressed by the sensitivity of these. It's instant and works very well. We'll try two taps. Goes to the next track, two taps again. Next track, two taps left side, goes to the next track again. So two taps, either bud will go to the next track. Three taps on either side should go back to the previous track. We'll play some music again. Goes back, goes back again, goes back again. Works very well, touch controls. I'm actually quite impressed how well they work and you do get that sound of the real AirPod Pros when it does work. Now we'll try and activate Siri, and if you are on Android, whatever voice assistant you have, this is how you will do it. So if we hit play, touch and hold, it beeps, let go. What's up, Siri? So touch controls work very well on here. Next test, we're gonna go right in. We're gonna do a mic test and we'll compare it against the real AirPod Pros. You guys can tell me how the mic sounds. I've got Super Nokia's AirPod Pro clones. This is the mic test. Let me know how good it sounds, if it sounds good, if it sounds bad. We're gonna compare it to the real AirPod Pros right now. Let me know. What up guys, mic test the real AirPod Pros going up today against the Super Nokia's version of the AirPod Pros. Let me know how they sound if they sound better, if they're comparable, let me know. Next test, we will check the latency, we'll play a YouTube video, and we will just check to see if there's any delay between audio and video. 
No delay between audio and video. I'm impressed by that. We're gonna try another video again just to make sure. The delay is very slight. It's, it's really hard to notice unless you're really looking for it. You can speed it up and it does catch up. It is very slight, but overall it's pretty good. I am impressed. And if you were watching Netflix, there's not gonna be any delay. Again, it's the clone thing with iOS on YouTube for whatever reason. But the first video, I had no delay. The second video, very slight, if any. And you can catch it up if you just fast forward. So not too bad. So sound quality on the Super Nakis are close. We're getting closer to a one-to-one -one of the real AirPod Pros, of course. There is much more bass on the AirPod Pros, but these do have some bass. They are very loud and they are very clear. So listening to music or content is not going to be an issue. Now, next test, we'll check the wireless charging just to make sure that it works. We'll pull out the charging pad and we will charge these up and your LED light should appear. It does appear. So these do support wireless charging. Very cool. Just like the real ones. Again, make sure you're charging pad or your connector is five watts and five watts only or you will destroy your clones. So last test, we're going to connect these to the Note 10 Plus just so you guys can see how they connect to an Android device. I do get a lot of requests showing this, but it's just like connecting any other Bluetooth device. You go into settings, you go into Bluetooth, you open this up, you click on Bluetooth, hold the button on the back to connect, getting device name, AirPods Pro comes right up, Pairing, connecting, and we are connected. Now you can use these for calls, audio, or input, and you can turn this off. And you can even go in and you can rename these on Android, something that you cannot do on iOS. So pretty cool, you can go in and name them. We will call these slang pods on my Android. So really cool, you can go in and rename them on an Android device. So the Super Naki is another version of the AirPod Pro clones. These are a closer one-to-one, -one, and for 89 bucks, they're a little cheaper than the last pair that we tested. So we are getting closer to the one-to-one. -one. It is coming. Overall, these are pretty good. Sound quality is pretty good. It's decent. It's better than the last pair, and I'm impressed by the sound. They are very loud a little more highs than anything, but they do have a small amount of bass. If I compare it to the real ones and I give the real AirPod Pros a 10, I'd give these an 8.5 in sound quality. Touch controls work fantastic. It's instant, very sensitive, and you do get the original sound from the AirPod Pros when you use your touch controls. In-ear detection works really well. You can use one at a time. The real battery percentages on the animation for the case and for the buds themselves Wireless charging does work, so lots of good things. You can go in on Android and rename your pods as well, something you cannot do on iOS. The video latency on here is minimal, if any at all. I tested it a couple times on YouTube on iOS, which is always where it is the worst. And the first video, no delay, and the second video, slight delay, but if you fast forward, a lot of times it will catch up. And if you watch Netflix, or if you're on Android, you're not gonna have any delay whatsoever. For whatever reason, it's just slightly on iOS. Hopefully they fix that. But overall, these work really well, and I am impressed by them. So Super Nakis, I'll drop the link below, guys. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Monday's coming, we all gotta get back to the grind, so. And we'll be back with more videos soon, guys, peace.